In the Emerald Dream, there is one new, very cool transmog piece to get, and that are the Forest Lord's Antlers. These antlers do take some effort to obtain, but if you know what to do, it's half as bad. So join me while I show you exactly how you can get your hands on them. You need to collect a total of 10 hidden treasures in the zone. Currently the antlers are shown to be obtained through the meta achievement, but that's actually not the case. You only need to do the treasures of the Emerald Dream achievement. This is something Blizzard already addressed to be correct and they just made a mistake displaying it wrong. So let's begin. First we have a Trifle Snatch to Warwick Dwarf, for which you have to find the Owl Trifle Snatcher, which can be found west of Amirdosil. Get close to the Owl and interact with it. It will then fly away and you need to follow. Interact with the Owl four times and it will leave you its treasure. The Crystalline Glow Blossom is not too far away either. You can find it hanging in a tree at this location. Simply fly up and collect it. The Magical Bloom can be found further to the east. You have to find the Laughing Potling. He is holding the treasure and will run away once you get too close to him. Follow him until he drops it and you can loot it. The Odd Bird can be found not too far away on top of a tree at this location. The Hidden Moonkin Stash can be found further in the north in this flying tree thing. Whatever. Simply fly up there and collect it. The Pine Shrew Cache can be found a bit further in the northwest in the middle of this little hole in the ground. Then we have a 4 statues left, which all grant some cool cosmetics. Starting off with a Reliquary of Ursoc, which can be found north of Amidrasil. In order to interact with it, you need to find the Mark of Ursoc, which lies on the ground a bit further to the north. After interacting with that, you have one minute time to go back to the statue and collect your treasure. If you place a Druid, you can also just turn yourself into your bear form, and if you place a Pandaren, you don't have to do anything at all, since you already are a bear. The reward is this nice headpiece, which is a recolor of a druid set, but it's a cosmetic item and can be used by any class. The reliquary of Ashaman can be found in the southeast inside of this cave. After going in, you want to follow the way in front of you. At this point here, you will find the mark of Ashaman. Activate it and follow the way until you reach the statue and gain your treasure. If you play as a druid, rogue or hunter, you can also turn on stealth or camouflage and don't have to collect your mark. From here, you will get this stealth transmog. The Reliquary of Aviana can be found on this island in the north. The Mark of Aviana can be found next to this bookshelf at this location. Use it and fly over to the statue to get the treasure, which is this staff. If you have a Blazing Wings toy from the Darkmoon Fair with Sparkle Wings from Ardenweald, if you have Pepe, play at Rakthir or at Druid in flight form, you don't need the Mark and can simply get it. And last but not least, we have a Reliquary of Goldwyn, which can be found in the southwest on this island in the cave. The Mark of Goldwyn can be found down the cliff left to the cave, interact with it, go back up and get your treasure, which is this fist weapon. If you play as an Orc or Makar Orc, you can also get this headpiece, which is right next to the statue. And if you play as a Vorgen or have a Moonfang Shroud or Moonfang's Paw, you don't have to get the Mark first. Those were all the treasures needed for the achievement. Once you collected all of them, you will have a Force Lord's Antlers in your collection. Congratulations! I hope I could help you, and I hope to see you next time. Until then! See ya!